it's the speed, it's, it's just crazy. You were going 275 kilometers an hour. Yeah. It was a horrific mid-air crash that made headlines around the world. I'm a rebel because I'm going to be the first female world champion in a men's world. The biggest setback which I kind of had was my little crash in Macau I had last year. I remember flying, I remember everything. I break my hands off the steering wheel and I went into the wall on the right side first, which turned me around so I went backwards and then there were those big sausage curves. They made me fly and then hit the fence, hit the house. We could not see it was Sophia, we only saw it was a Van Amersfoort racing car. We had to wait 30 minutes to get any information about her situation and those 30 minutes felt like three days. The accident left her with several spinal fractures, the teen in surgery for 11 hours. The crash was horrible. I watched it so many times, so it's okay now. And also I think talking about it helps. The sport is not the safest, but in the end, I'm still here. I'm super happy that no other people got badly injured and I think it could not have been worse, so I'm happy. <laughs> she says she's ready to get back out there? Oh yeah, she is not hesitating. In the end, everything was good because the end of January, I was allowed to do everything again and train and beginning of March, I was sitting in the car again for the first time, which was the coolest day of my life. <laughs> I think that most of the people probably would not have said, OK, I want to get back in the car. But when I'm in the car, I'm just myself. And the fact that she wanted to drive so eagerly whilst being in the hospital with all the injuries that she had showed that she doesn't give up so easily. I started in karting when I was four years old. I started in cars when I was 14 and I'm still quite young for where I am at the moment. When she was 14 years old, she competed in the Janetta Junior Championships, the youngest ever racer, female or male, to win a race in that competition. And she's broken numerous records since. She was the first female to win points in the Grand Prix in Formula 4, and she jumped into Formula 3. My goal is to get to the highest class of Formula racing. At the moment, it's Formula 1. I don't have time pressure, let's say, but the earlier I'm there, the better it is for me. <laughs> I do motorsport because it's got so many different sides. In motorsport it's not just the driver or just the athlete working, it's also the car which has to work and behind the car there are so many people. It's really incredible how much the car actually sticks to the ground. You really have to plan to overtake your enemy. You can fight. That's what I love. In motorsport it's quite difficult to really train in the car because we are limited in testing and limited in money. So I go to the gym every day. Friend work is really important for us because it's quite tough to drive some of those cars. Then a lot of simulator work. Sophia is a good racer. She's aggressive. When she sees a gap, she will go for it. I'm mainly racing against boys or men. If you look at all the classes and formulas, there may be 10 women driving and then like hundreds of guys. So we are not many. I like it. For me, it's super cool and it's super fun. In the car, gender doesn't matter. In the car, everyone is the same and just wants to win. Over the past 14 years, there have been people telling me, why do you actually do this sport? Because you're a woman, you're never going to make it. It motivates me even more to train harder, to show them that it is possible. I'm 100% sure that a woman can be as quick as a guy and that we can also be world champion. There just need to be more girls starting with this sport. I'm going to continue fighting for my dream. Most of the athletes which have success are rebels because we all want to win and we're all one-minded to fight and to get to our goal.